is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, December 8th. I'm Rudy Shabazi. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. Good morning. Let's take a look at your next weather forecast. Alex Biston joining us now. Good morning. Good, Good morning. Rudy Bay and Marcy. It is all about the wind as we head through the next two days because uh, we are looking at winds shifting from the north to the northeast. So Santa Ana winds will be the story as we head a specifically late tonight into early tomorrow. But I know you're waking up and you want to know what is impacting you right now. And, and I've got that for you, especially uh, the stronger winds this morning through the Santa Clarita Valley, portions of the San Fernando Valley up through the I-5 corridor. So if you have plans to travel up through I-5, through the grapevine, up toward Kern County, just know that you will be encountering those stronger winds. We have a high wind warning. So this is going into effect across portions of Ventura County. Uh, again, up through portions of the San Fernando Valley. We are talking about winds as strong as 50, even 60 miles per hour late tonight into early tomorrow. Temperatures today, mid to upper 60s, some spots scraping low 70s for the high desert and the mountains. Temperatures will be in the 50s today. Now, along with the wind, we also have a warm up as temperatures will rise into the upper 70s. So I will break down the seven day forecast for you day by day that is coming up in just a few minutes. Let's also talk about traffic this morning and what is impacting you on your commute. There is a crash westbound 105 at Crenshaw Boulevard. This is on the right shoulder, so we are seeing some slowing from that. Uh, westbound 105 from the 605 to 405 freeway, that is going to take you uh, just under half an hour. Looking over the Inland Empire this morning, Lots of green, but we do have some slowing. This is the uh, westbound 91 from Tyler to the uh, 55 freeway. This is going to just take you about half an hour. Otherwise, we have been talking about the wind this morning. There is a sign high wind. Uh, this is northbound 5 through Gorman. Again, we've been talking about the stronger winds through the I-5 corridor. And because the winds are ramping up, we are talking about the potential of uh, public safety power shutoffs. With more on that, we bring in Mark Liu. Hi, Mark. Yeah, Alex, good morning. So as you had mentioned, whenever there is a high wind event in Southern California, some power companies preemptively turn off the power to some communities to prevent uh, arcing power lines or down power lines, and that could happen today. First, let me take you out to some live pictures. We sent our breaking news crew out to Porter Ranch. This is in uh, the parking lot of the uh, Porter Ranch Town Center where there's a, uh, there's a Walmart out there. There's a lot of shops you can see just a little bit of breeze there on those palm trees. Porter Ranch, a traditionally pretty windy community. Uh, right now, it looks like they're getting a slight breeze out there. But really, the concern is for the high winds in the foothill communities and in the mountains. And Southern California Edison is concerned about that, too. If you come out to my screen, I want to talk a little bit about the public safety power shutoff that they could implement today. Now, right now, uh, Southern California Edison says no one is experiencing a power safety shutoff right now. Zero customers, but potentially 65,000 customers in of their 5 million could. That's about 18,000 in LA County, Orange 15,000, Riverside and San Bernardino about 8,000, and Ventura County almost 30,000 customers could have their power turned off today potentially. That to illustrate where this is happening, all of these orange areas are areas of concern for the power company. These are where these public safety power shutoffs could happen. You can see Moore Park, Fillmore, Malibu, uh, all through Simi Valley here, Santa Clarita up through Agua Dulce and Acton. These are all foothill communities. Over here in the Inland Empire, up to 15 into Bloomington, also the Morongo Reservation area, San Jacinto, and also, of course, in Orange County, Santiago Canyon, Silverado Canyon, and a Majesca Canyon. So uh, Southern California Edison says they monitor this minute by minute. They only turn the power off if absolutely necessary. Otherwise, they will keep the power on. They just don't want arcing power lines or any vegetation fires. That's it from the desk. I'll keep monitoring this. Until then, I'll set it back to you. Take part in the joy of giving by donating a gift to local children in need during the CBS KCAL Los Angeles and California Highway Patrol's Chips for Kids toy drive. Stop by one of our locations and donate a new unwrapped toy for a child or teen. Your donation stays in the neighborhood where you donate. Join us as we come together and support children across SoCal. Visit us at one of our drop-off events or text the word TOYS to 76278. Go to kcalnews.com slash chips for kids for a list of live broadcast locations. When people say who's first to get in the morning, that would be me. Ooh. 
Morning news matters because it sets the tone for your day, and it's a way of getting you started. Day to day, that first draft of history, it happens right here. We're going to uplift you. We're going to send you out your way. We take you places. We teach you new things. And we make you feel like, you know, it's not all bad. People say to me, you always seem to be having a good time. I and mean, you know what? You're right. Your morning routine just got better. CBS Mornings. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.